Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don, and tonight on VR Gamer Dude, we are finally taking our first steps into a much, much larger world. That's right. So tonight we are going to be testing out the Pimax 5K Plus, and man, I can't thank Pimax enough for sending this my way. I've been uber uber curious about this ever since their kickstarter i mean they, they went through a lot of crap guys you know they were one of the highest funded kickstarters in history and and then everybody's knocking them over on reddit saying oh this little chinese company you know they're they're not going to be able to pull it off they're not going to be able to produce and sure they had setback after setback and and delay after delay but they're shipping the headsets out now and man they, they shipped me one and i gotta tell you the wide field of view is no freaking joke. I, it has absolutely blown my mind. It's got me giddy again, just like it's like 2014 and, and I'm getting a DK1 and, and VR is new again. Well, VR just became new again for me and, and I can't tell you how much that means to me. So uh, in the video today, we're going to be kind of giving my initial thoughts. Like I said, I haven't been playing with it the last couple of nights. I just want to make sure everything worked. Uh, but I have not done a few of games. Like I haven't done a driving sim yet. I haven't done a flight simulator. And, and I've actually been saving my very favorite game for last, and that's Elite Dangerous. And you guys know that's where my channel started. That, that's where I want to see this thing shine. So, all right, let's uh, strap it on. And if you guys come with me, I'll give you my thoughts on the Pimax 5K Plus. Okay, so now we've gotten it out of the box and we've got it hooked up to the computer. The next thing we want to do is we want to come to PyMaxVR.com slash pages slash PyTool and download the PyTool. So PyTool is going to be our control interface for the uh, 5K+. Plus. So basically we'll scroll down past the version info in the notes here to download PyTool and we'll grab a copy right here. Once you've got that installed, this is what you're going to get. So basically, uh, the Pi Tool, like I said, it is your con connection and control interface for your Pi Max product to your PC. Uh, it's going to give you your status here, the, the ability to start Steam VR, set up your room, pair your controllers, base station, and controller status. Uh, this is also where you're going to change your settings. So you're going to uh, check for the current version, see if they've got anything new. Uh, you can set your language, uh, all the general stuff right here. Uh, HMD, however, is where it gets interesting. So this is where you're going to check for new versions of firmware, turn on your lighthouse tracking. But this is something that I haven't seen in a lot, in well, actually any of my other HMDs, is the ability to control not only the super sampling, but the brightness and the contrast so you know also the LCD backlight brightness so you've got your high normal and low setting uh, and and you can like I said control the brightness and the contrast now what that really helps with right now is since the Pimax uses the LCD screens it, it suffers from some pretty bad black levels so taking that brightness down to negative two and and raising the contrast to positive two I felt that's given me a nice offset to get a nice balance to enhance the colors but bring up the blacks just a little bit works great so uh, you also have the options to reboot the HMD or restart the service here uh, under the brain warp tab uh, this is where we've got our smart smoothing the, uh, the compatible with parallel projections that's a that's a hack that's needed to get some games running compatible with vibe only games that's another hack to get some games running um, this is also an interesting thing you can do on the fly while you're in any application if you can switch back to the desktop you can actually change change the field of view between three different settings on the Pimax so currently I've got mine set to the large field of view which is a 170 degree field of view I know the graphic uh, that you guys saw in the intro said 200 uh, that that's what it was it was originally 
uh, said to be, but, uh, you know, they did dial that back to 170, which is still plenty large, let me tell you. Um, and, and then you've got your normal, which is 150, uh, and then you got your small, which is 120. And I gotta tell you, even the small seems larger to me than my Oculus Rift, my HTC Vive, or my Odyssey uh, Plus. Uh, another cool thing is is that you can control the refresh rate of the uh, the the Pimax device, so you can set it to 90 hertz, 72 hertz, or 64 hertz. So if you are struggling in games to maintain a good frame rate, if you're getting the jitter, you can try backing it down by using one of these options. Now I, I can tell you at 64 hertz, I'm not susceptible to it, but um, you know some people say that they can see flicker at those low ranges. Uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't really bother me. Never did in my Oculus Go. Uh, which runs in that same range, or my Gear VR. Uh, so, um, all right, uh, the interesting, interesting part of Pi Tool, the games launcher. Now, why I say that's interesting is, is you're going to notice right here that it actually has pulled in my Oculus home games. Uh, so all of my Oculus library has been loaded into the Pi Tool for me to play in the Pimax 5K+. Plus. Now, I don't know how they're doing that. I don't know if it's all a revive. I do have revive installed, but it's 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 just native to their software to pull in everything from your Steam VR library and your Oculus library. Um, and it does work. Um, I have tested them. I, I didn't see huge performance drops in anything. However, I, you do just like revive, you do get the controller mismatch from time to time. So be aware of that. Um, other than that, you've just got your help, and that is it, boys and girls. That is an overview of the Pi Tool and the uh, setup of the Pimax 5K+. Plus. Okay, so here we are, and it is finally time to give my thoughts on the 5K+, Plus, the, the Pimax here. So, you know, I gotta say, right out of the box, the first thing that, that struck me was the size and the weight. I, I really thought it was gonna be bigger from the pictures and, and things that I've seen online. I really thought that this thing was actually going to be a lot larger, and I'm happy to say that it really isn't that big uh, it, it's it's definitely an interesting shape it's got the angles you've got the uh, illuminated chevron I thought that was a nice touch gives it that futuristic look um, but yeah right out of the box super super lightweight I mean definitely on par with my Odyssey plus or my rift um, and yeah so comfort wise well comfort wise that's a that's a personal thing for me I am not a fan of these very loosey goosey straps I, I really like a rigid head strap or you know even some of the new halo uh, the the rift s actually feels really good um, this th this is taking a step backwards in my opinion this is kind of going back to the original vibe and it's I, I don't know this is definitely something I could have done without as well as the foam that they put in there initially um, I did have a velour VR cover. I believe this one is for the Oculus CV1, uh, but it actually fit almost perfectly. Sans the part that covers the nose right here. I like a nose gap, so not really worried about that part. Um, and then once I put that on there, man, and I got this strap dialed in, the comfort was actually pretty damn good on the device. Um, it is still a little front heavy, obviously. Um, you know, I think by using a, a Vive digital audio strap mod uh, that'll counter counterbalance that a little bit, um, and then we will get a little bit better weight distribution. Now, the initial impressions of the FOV and the clarity, man, oh my God. So I really wasn't expecting it to be that dramatic. Um, I was thinking, oh, you know, people are just, you know, overhyping this. I, I've been burnt before, you know, and, and I'm happy to say that I was wrong. I was so dead wrong, it's not even funny. The, the first time I put this on, it was the, I don't know, it was kind of like the first oh shit moment I've had since the DK1.
Okay, so want to get a little gameplay in with the Pimax 5K Plus here. So we are going to go ahead and test this in a couple of different scenarios. Uh, so we're going to do like a flight sim. We're going to do a space sim. We're going to do a driving sim. We're going to do a first person shooter. And uh, yeah, so uh, for the flight sim, we're going to start out here with Aerofly FS2. I have not jumped into this game in a long time, but man, I remember playing it back in the day and being blown away by just how cool this one was so all right uh, I you know I'm just gonna hit start I don't even know I don't even know what's gonna happen oh okay so I must have been in a fighter jet last time I played this so very very cool here uh, the, the, I tell you what the the cockpit looks so much more detailed with the high resolution of the 5k plus screens guys oh my god man let me tell you what this is insane i i have been playing this game and others like it in vr for the better part of four or five years and uh, you know the, for for my very first time just boom just i mean you're seeing it right here right now dropping into a flight simulator in the in the Pimax 5K plus it, it's 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 a breathtaking experience i mean literally um, I, I was not prepared for the increased enhanced resolution and the the increased fov just wow so all right um let's go ahead and get up in the air here whoa oh and man i tell you what something about the increased fov is is like it's it's in the, the sense of speed the sense of speed it feels different in this headset i i don't know maybe it's a placebo maybe i i don't know what the hell but it, it definitely it felt like I had more sense of thrust going down that runway. So, um, let's see here. Other things people have been asking me to look for here. The, the screen door effect, yes, it, it is there. It is minimal. Um, it is not horrible. I mean, obviously, this is uh, just like more of the other... Uh, modern VR headsets. This is using a uh, an LCD screen, so it it it's a very uniform screen door, and it's very 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 mesh. But uh, it's I don't know, not bothersome, not not bothersome in any way, shape, or form. I I, I mean, it's the only headset that I have seen that, that I that I own that has that just beautiful no screen door look is the Samsung Odyssey Plus so I am still going to give it to that headset as being the king of visuals I mean that headset just looks absolutely freaking lootly gorgeous compared to anything else that I have played in but I'm telling you boys and girls the enhanced resolution in the Pimax 5K Plus and the enhanced field of view are doing something for my little lizard brain here and whoa I mean I man I do a lot of VR I don't usually get that that feeling and I'm getting that feeling and I'm loving it because I have not felt these sensations in a long long time Woo! Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, all right. There you have it. There is a flight simulator. Um, I think where are we flying here in San Francisco? Maybe. nutshell I, I I've got to say you know when it comes to uh, simulator gaming the the Pimax definitely makes a huge difference whoa nice 
Mais. Okay, so we've seen how the Pimax handles a flight sim, so now I think it's time to check it out in a driving sim. So we're going to be checking it out in a Seto Corsa here, and man, let me tell you, guys, I've sat my butt in lots of virtual cars in my day, and, and this by far is the best one yet. Uh, I mean, th this is amazing. I, I can look straight forward and I can actually kind of slightly see both of the mirrors in the peripheral vision of the Pimax. So very, very cool. It is it is definitely closing the gap and then and, and filling in that missing link of having that, that, that pseudo peripheral vision in VR. So uh, man, I, I don't know. Uh, I could just go on and on and on and on and on and on. And on but you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to drive. So let's go. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that feels good. Tell you what, a good racing game and a good little force feedback wheel is just enough to trick your brain. Ah, oh, man, this enhanced FOV is really helping with that as well I, I mean I, you know I, I said it I said it in the flight video but it, it it's, it's something about the FOV and and maybe I don't know tell me in the comments if you, if you guys have a Pimax or you have experience with wide FOV tell me in the comments uh, you know why, why is it that it's making me feel like the sense of speed is so much more. I mean, I, I didn't realize that my peripheral vision or, or having that expanded field of view played into that as much as it seems to. But, you know, like I said, I, I've been sitting my butt in virtual cars for the better part of four or five years, and, and I've never actually felt the sensation of speed that I'm feeling right now. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I am not hating on it. Now, I'm not doing a race, obviously. I'm just doing a, uh, a quick test drive because this is not about Assetto Corsa. We have seen that a lot in VR. Um, uh, this is uh, about the Pimax 5K Plus and how it handles racing sims and driving sim and flight sims and sims and sims and all the other all the types of games and well quite frankly folks so far it's handling them pretty damn well i tell you tell you another good one that i played the other night but unfortunately i can't get it to work uh, with the output mirror is American Truck Simulator. I had a blast playing American Truck Simulator with the Pimax last night. Looked so damn realistic. So, all right, you know, I think that about sums it up. Uh, I just, I can drive and drive and drive and you know, sit here and blah and blah and blah about the field of view and the resolution all day long, but I think you guys get the gist of it. Um, it is so far the best headset I have ever seen for Sims, hands down. Okay, here we are. We are finally in Elite Dangerous uh, in the Pimax 5K Plus, guys. And oh, wow. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, I have played this game a billion and one times. I mean, I've been playing this game for almost five years. Hell, this is where I started my channel, guys, was playing the early beta of Elite Dangerous in an Oculus Rift DK2. Sitting in battle chair, wearing a goofy Starfleet uniform. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know this. If not, go poke through my videos. They're, they're really cringy. Uh, but you know what? I have never, 
ever seen the game like this. Uh, I mean, this is nuts. This this wide field of view is blowing my mind in here. It's like I, I really feel more solid. I feel more connected to my starship. Like I am actually, you know sitting here. I mean, obviously Battle Chair plays into that a little bit. I've got my transducer going for the rumble and but uh, man, oh man. So, all right, enough blah 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 blah. So, let's get on to some more blah 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 uh, as I fly off and uh, we'll fly. We'll just do a little fly around Earth here and I will uh, kind of regurgitate my thoughts um, on the uh, Pimax 5K Plus and we'll call it a night here. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's align with that escape vector here. <laughs> okay, there we are. We are up. Let's get a little music going here. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe this one won't get me in trouble with YouTube. Hopefully it won't. Voyager. There we go. Oh man, I'm telling you, the the sense of flight, it, it, the the sense of feeling of flight, it it feels better in this headset than I in any of my other headsets. I am not shitting you guys. This is nuts. I've done this a million times. I've flown around the Earth a million times in Elite Dangerous, and it's never been like this. Okay. All right, so... All right, so, you know, blah, blah, yes. Oh, beautiful field of view. Oh, beautiful graphics. But is it a perfect headset? No, not, no, not by any means is this a perfect headset. I mean, you know, right out of the box, you have some comfort issues. Uh, the, the strap is, is definitely not one that I would prefer to have on there. Um, I, I can see modding this with the uh, Vive digital audio strap. That, that's definitely going to be something I'm going to look into. You know, um, the, the foam that it comes with was, was horrible. You know, I had to replace that with an old VR cover I had laying around. Uh, there is some warping in the outer peripheral vision, the, the extreme field of view. But, you know, ironically, that was actually fixed when I put the VR cover on and it kind of just pushed it a little bit farther away from my face. And then all of a sudden, boom, the warping was gone. So that plus plus one for that now the other thing well i was kind of worried about and i'm happy to say that it was almost a hundred percent unfounded worry was the black levels uh, you know being that it's lcd you know was it gonna have horrible grayish blacks uh, and you know with the default settings i'm not gonna lie it did However, uh, with the most recent Pi Tool update, well, Pimax has added something that no other HMD manufacturer out there has added, and that's the ability to control the brightness and the contrast of the screen. So, you know, uh, that right there, changing the, the contrast a couple of notches higher, the, the brightness a couple of notches lower, and setting the gamma has made Elite look just as good as it ever has in any of my other headsets. In fact, like, obviously it looks way better. Uh, the colors are popping nicely. Space is almost black. It's not inky black. It's not an OLED screen. But you know what? I can live with it for all of the other uh, advantages of this headset. I can live with slightly less blacks. So, um, let's see here. Is there anything else that I don't like about the Pimax. No, can't think of a damn thing. I love this headset and man, I got to tell you once again, I can't thank the guys at Pimax enough for sending this my way. 
Guys, you have definitely made me a believer in wide field of view VR. And, uh, yeah, you've shown me a little bit of what I feel like Gen 2 should really be. But for me, that's going to do it, guys. Now, if you want to experience wide field of view VR for yourself, I'm not trying to sell on you on anything. I'm not trying to push this on and saying, hey, you know, you should buy their product. You should buy their product. No, not doing that. But they did give me a coupon code. So if you are in the market to purchase a uh, Pimax, man, head down to the description, grab that coupon code. It's going to get you $70 off of a unit. Now, it is a limited time coupon code. It's got 10 uses. So first 10 people who find it, well, you're going to get 70 bucks off and you too can experience wide field of view, high resolution VR. But for me, that's it, man. I am out of here tonight. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you guys know I love it when you do that. That means the world to me. And of course, if this was your first time coming by the channel, man, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here on VR Gamer Dude. You know, if you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page and take a look through the other videos I have. Like I said, I've got old videos, cringy stuff with me wearing a Starfleet uniform playing this game in this chair, in the Oculus Rift DK2, kind of the little VR history stuff. And, you know, after you look through all that, if you liked what you saw, smash that subscribe, man. Ring the bell. Throw a like on this video. You know, that way you get notified the next time I do something cool in VR and I'd love to take you with me and of course if I've already been taking you with me if you're already a subscriber guys thank you so much man I, I know I say it all the time but I couldn't do this without you I do this for you we do this together we're, we're a community and you guys are really helping me grow this we, we are so close we're like 25 subscribers away from 7,000 subscribers on the channel and man, I, I owe that to each and every one of you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Like it, tweet it, share it, you know, blah, 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 all that YouTube BS. But uh, for me, that's it, guys. I'm out. This is VR Gamer Dude signing off, y'all. Peace.